drones. Seems like everyone has one now. They're definitely a lot more accessible than they used to be and they're a lot cheaper. Everyone wants to shoot cinematic video, that really nice looking video looks like a straight out of a movie. So I'm gonna show you some cinematic ways to shoot video. Let's do it. See, spring is here. I'm wearing a t-shirt. It's cloudy out, perfect drone weather. Let's get the drone out. Also, this coffee tastes like donuts. Don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna fly the drone, do a few shots, use maybe some shots from another trip I went on recently as well and I'll show you those and then afterwards when I'm back at home I'll show you on the controller exactly how I would have controlled those shots so you can kind of get the same cinematic shots as well. Let's put her up. Oh, here, look how flooded this is. This is normally all grass in the summer. That is a river there. This is all flooded. So I'm heading to the next location. Sorry if I'm squinting a lot, it's so bright out. Also, I have no idea if the exposure is right. No flippy screen. Thanks, Sony. I love the A7 III anyway. Yeah, let's go to the next location. See how we get on there. And home. So I hope you enjoyed that drone footage. That was all shot today in the period of about two hours. I'm gonna show you now that footage back, but with an overhead view, which is what this is for, of the controller. So you can see exactly how I kind of control using the Maverick Pro controller to get those shots. This is the overhead rig. Click to the camera now, and back. So so you know how my Mavic Pro controller is mapped. I use the button up the top here, the little rock or swivel, whatever it's called. I use that to control the pan, the tilt up and down of the, the camera on the gimbal. Uh, I use the button on the back here, the left hand side, to autofocus. I use the button on the right here to flip the camera straight down. And you can then click it again and it flips it straight back up again. So, and then the rest of it's pretty much set the same as normal. So you got your up, your down, uh, move left, move right, and then this just goes forwards, backwards, left and right but keeping you in the same direction. Let me tell you the most important thing when flying the drone to get these cinematic shots is to not be quick with the controller movements. And what I mean by that is don't go flying forwards and then left and then right and like really quick abrasive movements. Don't do that. Make everything slow, steady. It's gonna look much nicer. If you're shooting in 30 frames a second like me, you really don't have much to play with in terms of slowing it down. You can shoot in 1080, which will get you 60 frames a second, but the quality just isn't as good and I prefer shooting in 4K and just doing slower movements. For example, the tilt on the gimbal. If you just push it quickly one direction, it's gonna move straight down quickly. If you just slowly do it, it's actually gonna just go slowly. So slow and steady movements is what's gonna help you get those cinematic shots. Once you get a feel for using the controller and the drone, you'll get used to doing it. So let's go to the drone footage and I'll show you exactly what I do. Okay, so for this shot, very simple. You're gonna be going forwards and then right at the end, slow movement up. 
So the drone's going forwards and then it's coming up at the end. So this one's a little bit more complicated. You're gonna be going up and then a slight movement to the right. It's going up and then spinning as well. So left stick, you're gonna go up and then slight movement to the right. I love this shot, it's super cinematic. And if you have something go underneath like this car did, it looks really cool. And then for this shot, super simple. You're just literally gonna be going forwards and that's it. Sometimes the nicest looking shots are the simplest. Forwards, that's it. So this one is a little bit more complicated. You're gonna be doing a couple of things at once. So the drone's gonna be going this way, but as it's moving this way, you wanna kind of turn it this way. So to be able to do that on the controller, you move the drone to the right this way, and then you kind of angle the drone to the left that way as well. So it gives you that curved motion. Again, super cinematic. As much as the simple ones look amazing, the really complicated ones look cool because they're so complicated to do. Okay, this one's straightforward as well. You're gonna be moving the drone forwards and then using the gimbal, you're gonna be panning downwards. Pan the camera down like this, you use the button just here. So you're gonna go forwards and then down, just very smoothly. Again, super simple, straightforward shot. Make sure you apply the rule of thirds when you're shooting your video in the air as much as you do when you're on the ground. Forwards, make sure everything's centered, make sure everything's framed up, and there you go. Just very, very slow, forward, smooth movements. Now remember, if it's slightly crooked, you can zoom in a little bit with 4K and then you can correct the horizon a little bit. I do find these drones do that a lot. This one's a little bit more complicated. You actually wanna point the camera all the way down. So camera down, push the drone forwards very slowly and then pan up. Pan up's this one here. Very slowly, very gradual. You wanna to add to dramatic effect for this one. Slowly reveal the scene. It does help as well if you have something underneath, like this car, adds to the effect of the shot. Again, simple shot, I'm just gonna be moving the drone in one direction, in this case, just to the left. Uh, the shot's already framed, I'm just moving the drone basically, so to the left. This is like the shot I did earlier, I really like these shots if you can't tell. So you have the camera pointing all the way down, that button there, and then you're gonna be going up and turning the drone as well, so it's kind of spinning as it's going up. So to be able to do that, you push the drone up in the air slowly, and then a little movement one direction, up and to the right, that'll get you that shot. And then exactly the same thing again, up to the left. You can put two of these shots together and they look really cool like this. So this is a very common shot, you'll see this a lot in films. I've added a little twist to it as well, like literally a twist. Uh, so you're gonna be going forwards and then panning the gimbal down a little bit with a little tiny curve on there. So the drone's gonna be going forwards and then a little turn and as I'm doing that, I'm panning the camera down. So forwards, turn to the right, pan the camera down. A little bit more complicated, but it looks super cool. And then sometimes, again, a super simple shot, if you just point the camera all the way down, if you're over water or over like really nice cornfields or something, just pan it all the way down so the camera's pointing down and just go forward slowly. And then this shot here, again, a simple one. The shot looked really nice, the framing was really nice, so I just did a simple shot, just moving to the right really slowly so the drone's just moving to the right. And when you're editing, don't use the same clip over and over again. Make sure you shoot lots of different angles, different ways of panning down, moving right, moving left, coming up, spinning. Shoot a whole variety of different things that gives you more to edit with. I see a lot of people doing this when they're first starting and that's using the same clip for like 20 seconds. That's really boring to watch. Make them a little bit shorter if you need to and edit to the music as well. If there's jumps in the music, bits of bass that come in and out, edit to that. It looks a lot better. So I added in a few shots as well of me from Vegas. These are of me tracking a car and they look really cool. So I wanted to include them so you could see. Obviously not in Canada because we're in the desert. You see this shot done a ton of times in car commercials. The car's in the middle of the frame or pretty much in the middle of the frame. And I'm just moving the drone slowly to the right while panning up on the gimbal. So to the right and panning up. You'll see this one done a lot in car commercials. And basically moving forward slowly, the car appears from behind the drone slowly into the frame and then moves out of the frame. So the car's going faster than the drone, but you kind of pick up the entire movement through the frame and it looks really nice. So to do that, you'd be moving forwards, car would go through. If you want, you could pan up a little bit at the end and that's how you do that shot. So I know some of you are gonna ask as well about my settings, what I use, I'll make it dead easy for you. You can use it stock, straight from the factory. It works completely fine, the footage is entirely gradable. I shoot in 4K at 30 frames a second, you have a tiny little bit of play, maybe like five to 10% to slow it down if you wanted to. In terms of the color profile I use, I use the D Cine-like profile on the Mavic Pro. I bump the sharpness up two, at, is it two or one? Either one or two. I like it to look a little bit sharper. If you need to, you can soften it in post. And then I bring down the contrast one and the saturation another one. That's it. That's my settings. Now a huge point. Some of you are gonna say this, I'm sure. You may think your town, your city, wherever you live, 
has absolutely nothing of interest that you can fly your drone in and shoot beautiful video. I want to disagree with that point. Every town or city has something available to you to shoot. You just got to find it. So I'm going to give you a huge pro tip. Jump on Google Maps. By default, it's going to be your terrain map. Change it to satellite. You can now view the entire world from above. You can zoom in and you can see places to film with your drone. Do that for your town or wherever you are and I guarantee you there'll be places on there you had no idea existed and you'll want to go fly your drone there. So that's a huge pro tip for you. Now on the note of that as well, I do want to quickly discuss safety. Please make sure you fly your drone in areas you're allowed to. Don't fly near airports, over people or in stupid places where you could hurt someone. Remember, this is an aircraft that can fall out the sky. If you are 400 feet above, that's the legal limit in North America. Well, Canada at least, I don't know about the States, but 400 feet above, that's high. If that drone has a motor failure or the battery falls out, it does happen and that falls and lands on somebody, it ain't gonna go too well. There are drone laws in countries. There are laws for a reason. Sometimes they're a little bit over the top. It's to protect yourself and it's to protect other people too. So please just make sure you fly safely. That's enough of that round. And uh, that's the end of the video. Hope it really helped you. Get out there, try some of these things out that I taught you today and let me know down below how you got on. Like down below if you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you're not part of it already. I would appreciate that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. I think I need some shorts.